Let's kick it off, you beautiful humans, and I will not keep you here too long. I have got two charging accessory options that I am pretty excited about, especially since some of us are able to get out and about, and I do have some travel coming up. So we're gonna be diving in to, of course, this case is pretty awesome. I already have the MacBook Pro out, but I did a, a brief review or at least a recommendation on it. I'm still using it. But what we have here, so satisfying, is, oh, if I can find it, oh, here it is. We have the Anchor 735, and one of the biggest selling points, as you can see here, is that this is much smaller than the Apple charging brick, and you can pretty much put like roughly two of these against this one. Now in the box, you just get the small brick, which is compatible with the USB-C to MagSafe cable that comes with the Mac. And although I know it would be nice to get a USB-C power cable for this price, especially because Anchor does make some really nice ones that I've purchased, but what you are getting is the peace of mind that this is really in the wheelhouse of what Anchor does and you're investing in the tech inside of this plug. Now, fast charging is marketed here. As an example, the iPad Pro does come with a 20 watt charging brick. However, using the Anchor, I was able to pull an initial, and this is roughly 37 to 39 watts from about a 9% uh, reading on the battery, getting that up to 65% in about 45 minutes. However, once the battery reaches that threshold, you'll start to see this pull back to around 20 watts or so, and then continuing to decrease as the battery gets closer to topping off. And it did take approximately two hours for, for that full charge on the iPad Pro. And some may be concerned about this initial demand on the overall battery health, and other users have mentioned that they've used similar chargers with very similar results when it comes to that initial power draw. And I do believe in the battery tech in these devices, but I just wanted you to be aware of this, that this, if, if this is a concern for you, although I will say that overall the heat being generated, it, it did not seem to be at all overwhelming, and this wasn't the case where the iPad was hot to the touch, and the charger was definitely warm, but really no, no warmer than the included charger that comes with the iPad. And for the 14 inch M1 Max, the power draw was bumping up next to that 65 watts at just under 20 volts. And we're not really fast charging here with that 50% bump that is advertised in 30 minutes uh, with Apple's charging brick. However, I was able to get a 42% bump in 30 minutes, which that is definitely respectable. I will take it. And one of the questions that you may have is whether you can charge multiple devices simultaneously, and I did test this, and you can. Anchor states that the gallium nitride technology, the version two of this tech, as they're really referring to it as, is supposed to keep that heat down during the charge, and I can also confirm that this seems to be the case with multiple devices being charged, and again, I love the fact that that just snaps down. Now, moving on into the bag here, what we have is another compelling charging solution, especially if you're not around an outlet. And this is the Tough Juice from Zero Lemon, and this is a 30,000 milliamp power bank that has plenty of options for your devices. It's, it's pretty rugged, and it's advertised as such. And at about 22 ounces, it'll smash a few toes. So do be careful when you're toting this thing around if you're wearing slides or flip-flops. But when looking further, especially because this has what looks to be like these weather sealed tabs, you'll you'll notice like these that, that appear to be weather sealed. And so it will keep some dust and moisture out, but this is in no way rated to be weather resistant or really weatherproof. However, it is plenty convenient here to have this thing around. I find myself quite often uh, just charging devices around my house, even though there's outlets pretty much everywhere. You will get a USB-C charging cable. It's pretty substantial. Uh, I think it's a pretty substantial cable uh, for what you get in the box. And it, what you will do is if you connect your USB-C, these two options here, it will charge at 22 and a half watts. And of course, when you're low, Zero Lemon states that what you can do is then plug in two 18 watt power adapters to charge it back up quicker. However, we're still looking at about a four hour top off here on the battery itself. And I did confirm that in my testing, but I was able to charge up the 14 inch MacBook Pro. And as you can imagine, this did take a while going from about 16% to 100%. It took about four hours, but it managed to take care of that. And then I was able to get about a 40% bump charge on the iPad Air Gen 4 after having charged the MacBook Pro. 
And it does have these QC 3.0 type ports, type A. And so if, if you're needing that option, you've got it. And I'm also really liking these power banks that offer that wireless charging, which you'll find at 10 watts on this one. And although this isn't necessarily the most efficient way to charge a device, I still find myself just popping a phone on it because it's there. And one of the things that I've really also liked using it with is my camera. When I'm streaming or when I was on a podcast the other day, we were hanging out talking for a bit like before the show and then of course after the show. It's just been great for those longer streams with my camera just to have it plugged into, I have a utility shelf connected to the stand that my whole setup is on. And again, I have a high capacity battery in the A7 IV, but it just gives me a little bit of extra peace of mind and not having to try to find a wall plug or stretch the cable at all. But as I said, I wanted to get you out of here quick, so be sure to stay tuned for more accessory videos as I have quite a few more that I'm working on. Do not be shy in the comments, keep rocking those faces, and I'll see you right back here on the next one.